Well, you uh, ask me what it uh, is to how I feel about the award. Uh, the award actually uh, was uh, completely a surprise to me. I, <laughs> I, I, I thought nobody in the wide world would uh, ever give me that. And the other thing I felt about it was that it was my duty and I act had actually done less than my duty. Uh, I could have done more, you know, if I had, uh, had, be had tried harder. Uh, and this is something, of course, that I've been doing now for a long time. Uh, uh, but uh, that is not what I thought, really. Uh, I don't think any of us, uh, in the end, can do anything. Not really. I think uh, if you're doing uh, God's will uh, and you find that out, you know, in your own life, uh, that's the important thing. And uh, I have to say, I haven't always done that. I wouldn't say I was, in that respect, perfect. Uh, but I have uh, sought, you know, in my own heart to do that. I had no idea, no idea that, uh, I, that it was going to lead on to uh, what it has done. It would be like giving, a, 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 say, a child who, who liked ice cream, you know, you, you'd give him a bucket of ice cream, you know, uh, and it would be just, uh, you know, something he would enjoy. And that's really my own life, if I look back on it. We have two projects that we want to finish, at least two, that we want to finish this year. Uh, one is a, uh, a, a new day case eye clinic in Afghanistan um, and that is really um, a new start for uh, cataract surgery in, in Afghanistan and what it means is that if you have a cataract uh, you are given a time say tomorrow and uh, you turn up there in the morning at nine o'clock uh, you're operated, you're looked after, given a cup of tea uh, and helped uh, home uh, and then you come back the next day to actually uh, have your eye examined. Uh, it's a way that we find is better for older people. If you uh, take an older person and you confine them to bed and, uh, you know, put them in a strange place, they feel uh, much more awkward and uh, they often get some some confusion in their own mind and so uh, we like them to be in their own in their own setting you know well the truth of the matter is I feel that the Afghan people deserve the best care I can give them and so I won't settle for less for example than the Remuera people will get why and how Central Asia. You know, in 1946, when I first began to think about this, uh, I was just a young boy and uh, I had no idea what I was going to do. Uh, like any other young boy, I was uh, hoping for big things and, uh, you know, I was looking around. Um, but um, you might say, how did, it, how, how did it come about? Well, I'll tell you, and it's related actually to Auckland. There was a famous businessman here called Robert Laidlaw, and he started the Farmers Trading Company, which in its day was the largest business in New Zealand and the most wealthy. And uh, he was a fine Christian man. And uh, he, at one time, he became the actual president of the whole worldwide Rotary Club, so he was an unusual man, very good uh, speaker. Anyway, he had a competition amongst the Bible classes of the churches uh, as to who would write the best essay. And I was about, I was 14 at the time, so I wrote an essay and they gave me uh, a copy of a f very famous book about Hudson Taylor, who was a missionary. And uh, as I read that through, my heart turned to Central Asia. And um, 
I then read another book uh, about a Scotsman uh, who went to the Central Asian area and he never married. Uh, his wife, his fiance died when, you know, when he was just a young man and they, and he never, never wanted to marry anybody else. But he spent his whole life until 1946, as it happens, living in Central Asia. And he spent more than 50, 50 years doing this. And what he would do in the winter time when you can't really travel, it's so cold. Uh, he would sit inside, studying his books, translating the Bible, doing other books, and getting ready for the summer. Then in the summer, he would go off in the springtime and he would travel all over, uh, distributing the books and doing other things. He also did relief work, uh, of course, as we have done. And um, anyway, he did that the whole of his life. And I was so fascinated as a young fellow that somebody would do that. And I suppose I was attracted by it, really. It never happened in my case, you know, because uh, I never actually got into that country and spent any length of time there. In fact, I always remember the chief of police of Xinjiang, the westernmost province of China, saying to me, Dr. Harper, you will never get into Xinjiang. And I, I said to him, I said to him at the time, I was leaving the next day, so I, I felt safe. Uh, I said to him, you're the chief of police here in this province. And I said, I can tell you one day you will leave this province and you'll never come back here. He was Chinese. And I said, uh, I'm, but I will keep coming back until, uh, you know, I, it's clear that I can't come back anymore. He, uh, you know, sort of looked angry and stamped out of the room, you know, and left me. Uh, but uh, that was, um, you might say, one of the times in my life when I felt quite angry. Well, of course, I'm a very conservative uh, Christian. I have no modern ideas about it. Um, my belief is that every person actually has to make their own peace with God. Uh, there's no way that uh, anybody else can do it for you. There's no way that you can earn your salvation. Uh, it's, it's by grace through faith. Uh, and uh, this is important for you as a person. Uh, if you do that, uh, then of course you, you have peace with God, and that's very important. And uh, you have growth as a Christian, as a believer in your life, all through your life. But I have to say, I'm still learning lots, you know, and uh, I still sure I have lots to learn. Uh, the other thing I found very valuable uh, is to read the Bible right through each year. If you can read the Bible through each year, it's amazing what you learn. And over the years, there's a a progress in knowledge and experience in your in yourself if you uh, if you do that and i've done it now for more than 40 years